my neighbor here just immediately adjacent actually implemented the first in-stream flow right uh, in the state of Utah, which allowed him to continue to grow his operation and to maintain itself in that way. But he also leased back to another entity some of his excess water, preserving his right, but also providing fish habitat. It's, it's a win-win for agriculture and for natural resources. And I'm, I'm hoping that's the sort of new way of thinking. It's the sort of complex answers to complex questions that hopefully Utah State can help us solve. Hi, I'm Representative Casey Snyder. I'm from Paradise, Utah. This is my farm here in Cache County. A big part of my childhood and a big part of my, my family's recreation now is going into the mountains to hunt and fish. The secret of how wonderful this place is has gotten out. And so trails that 10 years ago, I would have probably been the only one that, had, that was on it or used it regularly are now crowded. We're just going to have to better understand is how people recreate, why they recreate, what drives them to recreate. What I enjoy if I hike into an area may not be the same thing that someone would enjoy if they bicycle or ride an ATV or even ride a horse in that same area. So figuring out how those uses can all coexist on a landscape, whether it's uh, you know designated areas for certain types of recreation or management in other means is is going to be something we have to resolve. So I believe in the value and importance of this institute. It's one of the reasons I was the main sponsor of the institute in the Utah legislature and drafted the legislation to create it. And it's one of the reasons I'm hoping to continue to serve on the advisory board for it. I think there are some real questions that need answers and this is the way to do it. You have the premier land grant university in the West and definitely the best university in the state. This is the place where those questions can be answered.